Hey guys, so you've probably noticed that I've been missing for a few days, and if you follow me on Instagram, I did post a photo. Um, we actually moved, and it was kind of unexpected, um, so it all happened really in a hurry. I missed National Scrapbooking Day, because that's, we that's when we were doing most of our moving, and because it was unexpected, um, I actually did not um, have internet. So, I could not post any videos, even though I had a bunch backlogged, and I've been slowly trying to get everything caught up, and I finally got my scrap room organized again, and um, I, I doubt if I do a room share, because it's almost exactly the same setup as I had before, um, just a few differences. So, I'm going to be posting videos on YouTube, and some of them may be out of order, um, and, you know, may not be the exact order that I had planned to upload them in, but it's just been crazy around here. Um, and my Project Life came a couple days late because it got reshipped, um, so it could be forwarded instead of just coming to this new address, even though we live in the same town, so, um, it's just been crazy here. So, but I am going to get caught up on Project Life. I'm like five weeks behind, but I'm going to get caught up, and I'm just ready to start living a normal life again because <laughs> it's been kind of stressful all right so here we go with the project life kit from studio calico let me grab my trash can i always think i ought to do something with this stuff but i never know what to do with it so i literally just got this kit um, I walked up to my mailbox in the rain because I was so excited for it. So, let's get started. And as you can see, my box got damaged right there. And I saw that on the outer box that it was damaged. Um, that's probably because it was shipped an extra time, I would imagine. I mean, maybe it was done the first time, but the box is just a little dinged up. So, I will go ahead and throw this one away. I, Whenever I, I packed my scrap room up, I literally had like six boxes. Or, let's see, five empty boxes, and I've used three or four of them throughout the room. So, um, one thing that I will say about moving is you really realize how much scrap stuff you have. <laughs> it was a little overwhelming, um to be honest. So I am going to try really hard to use up some of my older stuff before I buy new stuff. Um, and it's going to be hard because, you know, we all love buying new scrapbook stuff, but I've really got to just use up some of my stuff because I've got so much. So I'm going to start out, and these were in the bottom. And I absolutely love these. These are super cool. They remind me of the chipboard um, stickers that they had a couple months ago. Um, these are definitely like cardboard, or not cardboard, but cardstock. And I don't think there's any adhesive backing to it. I can't be sure. And um, this one popped out, but it was still in the kit, so that works. Pretty sure there's no adhesive on here, but that's okay. So I love those. I think I will use a ton of those. And I would probably save some of them for my regular layouts too. Um, this one says, like it was yesterday, and fly, really love both of those. I always used to hate gold, now I love gold. I used to hate feathers, now I love feathers, so. Alright, the stamp set this month, let's see, it looks, let's see, it doesn't say who it's by, but it looks like Amy Tangerine, but maybe it's just Studio Calico. I love this stamp set. This is definitely one of my favorites so far. Honestly, between moving and, you know, I always try not to look on the website. But between moving, I did not even have any time to look. And I didn't have any extra money to buy an add-on kit because we were moving. So, um, I'm really happy that I didn't look because everything's a surprise. But I love, love, love this stamp set. Just looking at it. I love the chevrons. Um, the I love you. The hello is super cute. I love this feeling meh, happy, dreamy, wild, silly typewriter which is super in right now um just love it all and if my voice sounds a little funny um i think i got a little cold between the weather and the dust from moving a bunch of stuff from our storage unit so um my voice probably sounds a little funny but i'm sorry <laughs> 
So these are deco dots from Candy Shop. These are super cute. They're like sparkly or shimmery, I should say. They're pink. They have little ridges. And they look to be a little bit thinner. I don't know if you can really see. Um, they look to be a little bit thinner than some of the dots that they've included from the Queen & Co. company. Um, so I really like that because some of the thicker pieces I really liked, but they didn't work well in the Project Life page protectors. Here's some of these asterisks. They're called asterisk thickers. And I remember I got a few of these, or a page of these, like, I don't know, it's been probably four or five months ago in a kit. Um, so I like them, and I like these colors a lot better. So I'll probably end up using quite a few of these. Show these cards. That says, figure one, enjoy the adventure. Love that. And this says, you make me blank when skies are gray. So I don't know if you can... Let's see. I think it's a scratch-off card, so maybe you can scratch what you want in there. That's really cute, though. And then it looks like some wood veneer banner pieces. Super cute. Oh, my gosh. You actually get quite a few in here. I thought there would be, like, three or four. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. Four, six, ten. Okay, ten. Cool. So I'll just show them one by one, and hopefully they'll show up good on camera. I've, I'm have i missing my laptop this week because my husband took it with him on a business trip, so I'm, I can't even see the stuff that I'm showing you guys because my other computer is on the other side of the room. So... Anyway, these are super cute. That's a little clock, heart, a hand that looks very much like my own hand right now, a camera, and then we have some words, love, yay, meh, eat. I'm super excited that they've included a little bit more, I don't want to say negative, um, words but more realistic words I guess I should say um more real life because that's one thing that I feel like is missing in a lot of stamp sets um as we all know life is not always perfect it's not always you know fun and happy and perfect days and best days ever um sometimes you have mad days or sometimes you have even bad days but you still want to document them especially in project life because I really honestly feel like project life is <clears throat> You know, about the good, the bad, and the ugly. And in scrapbooking layouts, we probably usually only document the good. I do know some people do sad layouts um, or like memorial style layouts. And I definitely love those too um, because I really, I want to document everything. For me, scrapbooking is like a pretty journal almost. So anyway, I'm glad that they've included a few more of those because you can only use so many happy words and geotags before you feel like you're needing something a little bit different. So as always, here's the card that they send. Um, I never use mine. Um, so I always use the backs of them though to make my own Project Life cards. And I actually have an awesome video for you guys using my Project Life. Um, I've made a bunch of Project Life cards, a bunch of filler cards. Um, and I just have to edit that and upload it for you guys, and I'll put that up really soon. So, there goes my phone, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to uh, shut that off here real quick. So, anyway. So, that one says, keeping it real. I'm going to flip through the backs. I actually have a lot of different things this time, so I'll flip back and forth. Keeping it real with the feather on it. See, that's definitely a card I will use. That one says hello. And it says remember this moment on the back. An awesome looking ampersand. Love that. Super cute. I like that's different. They actually have a lot of different designs this month on front and back. Wake up and be awesome. <laughs> I really like that. That one I'm kind of meh about, but that's a really good filler card. 
one fine day. Probably use that side. Oh, I love that. Explore. Love the color. Love the image. That's super cute. Be classy. Oh, I really like that side. The yellow flowers. Eh. Camera. Very cute. That's cute. There's one that's definitely Dear Lizzy. Recognize it. Free to be me. I like that one. The color's a little funny. It's like a purpley, like a light purpley pink. Kind of cute. Today was wonderful. That's perfect because I'm trying to get more Instagram photos in there. So today I have to work later, but I'm going to catch up on my week 15 through however many I can get through. So I'll probably be using this kit retroactively or is that the opposite of retroactively? Anyway, there will probably be some videos that should have been done with the April kit that I haven't got to yet. So I'll probably do a lot of mixing and matching this month because I'm so behind. Enjoy it because it's happening. I love that card. A thought with a little speech bubble. Bloom and grow. That's super cute. Another one of those test pattern pages with a wood grain on the back. Oh yeah. And that, I think it's from Dear Lizzie. I think that's from her paper pad. Love that. Okay, and here we go with the 4x6 cards. That one says hello. Whoop. Oh my gosh, my phone today. I really love that one. That one's Dear Lizzie. I already have that in the kit. Oh, whoops, I forgot. That one says the best mo memories. And on the back, it's like a craft. I like that. Um, like I said, that one's Dear Lizzie. I love it. I'm glad to have two of those. P.S. You're adorable. Yep, you are. That's super cute. And a little grid type pattern on the back. That one time. Grid pattern. And a beautiful sky pattern again. I love, 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 love all the 4 by 6 cards this month. And um, um, there's not a ton of them, but I super love them. Can't wait to use those. And these are, ooh, rub-ons. Yay! That's kind of different. I really have been liking the letter stickers or letters that they've been doing lately. I really love those blue thickers. I think those were in the, the March kit. I love rub-ons, so I'll definitely be using those. And I like that you get numbers, some dots, ampersands, everything. Um, so I really like this, and I think they've been totally rocking it on the letters or like the alphabets lately. Um, because when they used to do all those little basic gray ones, those were fine, but they didn't peel off very well. And it just kind of felt like the same alphabet over and over again. So I'm super excited that they've done some different things with the alphabets. And I have to say, um, when I saw the sneaks on like, I think it was the 14th, when I saw the sneaks for the kit, I was super excited. I was like, oh yeah, Camelot's going to be good. And it's definitely surpassed my expectations this is definitely my favorite kit so far maybe ever but um, I didn't really love I think it was like the April kit and the February no I really like the February kit and then the March I was like half and half and the April I was half and half um, I think that's how it went sorry guys I'm so out of it today but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you love the kit as much as I do because um, yes, I'm so pumped to be starting to work on my project life again. So um, I will see you guys later and thank you so much for being patient with me during this um, move and no internet and not enough time to edit videos, period. So, um, But I'm going to do a bunch of videos this week and edit them because like I said, my husband's out of town so I can finally have the computer for unlimited amounts of time. So, um, I will see you guys all soon. I've got some book reviews coming up and what else? Some layouts and like I said, I made a bunch of Project Life cards, so I'll show those to you guys. And, 
Um, don't forget the book club, the Rosie Project is going to be June 7th, so that's a little over or a little under a month away, so make sure you check out that book, and we will have the book club discussion um, June 7th. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Have a great day.